So, Zoe Quinn is back in the, uh, I guess, I don't know. I don't want to call now this news, but whatever. They made this video. Uh, I figured, uh, let's go take a look at it. This video game developer survived Gamergate. Okay, she didn't survive anything. It wasn't a fucking war. And she caused Gamergate. Okay, here's the story of Gamergate. This woman here, Zoe Quinn, uh, made a game that she, uh, by the way, she stole the source code to this game. So I'll say she wrote the story of the game. It's called Depression Quest. It suppo was supposed to be a simulator for somebody battling depression. All it did was give the players depression because it was so fucking terrible. Then, to get positive reviews and to have game journalists say what a great fucking game this is, she didn't do the normal route that some game developers go with, and that's just bribe them. No. She decided, probably because she didn't have any money, but she is semi-decently looking, she decided to go with blowjobs. So, that's the only thing she survived. Swallowing that much spunk. Then, they gave, the game uh, journalists gave the game glowing reviews. People who actually play video games played it and going, what the fuck is this? Then, all of it came to light that, yeah, she exchanged sexual favors for a good game review. Now, me personally, if she was just doing it for money, I wouldn't have given a shit. But it called up a question of ethics and game journalism. This was not an attack by neckbeard MRAs wanting to keep women out of our game sphere. No, that wasn't it at all. In fact, a lot of female gamers were pissed off about this and hate Zoe Quinn more than I do. Then, because she's pussy-licking pals with Anita Sarkeesian, it got blown into the feminist versus the anti-feminist bullshit, and yeah. Uh, but she didn't survive anything. Let's, let's be clear about that. Let's not go nuts. This wasn't a fucking war where I led the lords of patriarchy in glorious battle against the feminist empire. Now she's working to make the industry more diverse. Well, it already is. All you gotta do is play Star Wars Battlefront 2. About 60% of the human NPCs are female. It stars a female lead. Personally, I don't mind it because there's nothing more fun for me than getting a, a uh, strong, empowered female soldier and cutting her in half with my lightsaber. Most magical feeling in the world is seeing a kid that young the first time they're able to say I want this computer to do something and then they're able to make it happen and that interaction works for the first time magic it's freaking magic what no it's not that's a game yeah depression quest a terrible Terrible story of depression. Like, literally, here's the game. Spoilers. You are manic depressive, and to cure yourself, all you need to do is move your girlfriend in, get a cat, and go see a therapist. That's all. And you're cured. To which... By the way, to which, by the way, she stole or, or bought the source. I, you know what? I won't say stole. She bought the source code from. So all she did was gave a terrible story. And if this was her mental health issues, oh, what a shock. Another upper middle class whiny bitch who thinks that mild inconveniences equal depression and real struggle. I, that I wasn't going to make it through this. Period of depression, as well as just well, all you had to do was eat a pussy and 
Adopt a pussy. To see, like, sort of put it all on line and see if I had any talent at this game making thing. You don't. Trust me. You don't. And what she's been doing for the last couple of years is nothing in a money laundering operation done by Anita Sarkeesian. She's speaking out against hate. It wasn't hate. Most, okay, maybe, maybe, I'll be fair. Maybe about 10% of the comments were hateful and stepped over the line. The rest of it was just telling the truth. So, you slept with game journalists to get good reviews. Did you not? Your game depression quest isn't warranted of said reviews. Yeah, that's not what Gamergate was about. That's what they tried to make it about. Gamergate was about ethics and game journalism. Not trying to stalk this... Not that attractive woman. And again, why didn't you report it to anyone? You know, stalking is a crime. You, there are these people you can call the cops. That's the people who will scream the loudest and are most willing to, to run everybody else off. That's all that will be there. No. Uh, really? Really? You really just made that statement? It seems like your side are the people that come in with black masks and shut down talks they don't like. So shut the fuck up on that, bitch. Uh, no. What happened was, is your buddy Anita Sarkeesian needed somewhere to funnel her money with her do-nothing charity, Feminist Frequency. Remember, I'd love to know how uh, Anita Sarkeesian's planning to cash out with this when it all comes down. I mean, I, I well, actually, she keeps loaning herself about $40,000 a year from the foundation. That is actually provable, by the way. Yeah, um, if you're affected by what somebody says to you on Twitter or Facebook or YouTube, you need to get the fuck off of it. We've done a bunch of advocacy with tech platforms, law enforcement agencies, and anybody that we could talk, that, that would basically talk to us that we thought we could. Um, and accomplished nothing. Congratulations. Oh. And also, you advocate for the censorship of the internet. You advocate that people like me should just be shut the fuck down and out the fu and and out of the fucking uh, internet sphere, whatever the fuck. All right. Uh, any more to this? Games are just another. Oh, how the fuck are women a marginalized group? You're half the population. That's not marginalized. It's just, no, you have pathetic, worthless crybabies like her telling young girls that no matter what you are, you will always be a victim of something. This is why I hate feminism and why the church of feminism needs to die. It doesn't empower women. It actually weakens them in a state of permanent victimhood. The medium, and I feel like everybody should have access to that. If you everyone fucking does, not everyone has the rich parents to buy them the source code to a game, but everyone does have it right now. But you know what? You don't have. You don't have the ability to shut out or shut down bad reviews. If you make a shitty game, I don't give a fuck if you're a man, a woman, if it's your first game, or if you've been fucking making them for 20 fucking years, I'm going to say, this game sucks. Try again. If you have the tools to learn how to make games. And I have fucking uh, played Depression Quest, and yeah, it's terrible, Zoe. You put no effort into that. Should absolutely. And uh, these games that you're... Showing these are triple A titles. These are not made by one fucking guy or gal. It's a team of several hundred people, if not thousands. We be 
able to have some guidance in that. Yeah, they do from real game developers. Why don't you go back and fucking eat an Ar Anita Sarkeesian's fucking pussy so she can give you a bunch of money for doing fucking nothing?